Great idea. Um, in this example, guys, we have five. We're saying y is equal to f uh, times or f of g of x. Find f x and g of x. So again, what this is basically saying, guys, is g of x, some function, is inside f of x. So you have two functions. One function is inside of the other function. Does that kind of make sense? One function is inside of another function. So if you look at that, we see the absolute value, and then we also see like a linear equation in here. So there's basically, you guys can kind of see, like, or at least it hopefully it makes sense, is like 3 of x is inside of the absolute value functions, right? Now, could we call 3x plus 5 a function in itself? Of course. Since that's supposed to be the one that's inside, that would be g of x, 3x plus 5. And then what is it inside of? It's inside absolute values. Well, absolute value is not a function. You, know, like you can't say f of x equals absolute value. It's absolute value of some variable that you're not going to find on your phone when you're scrolling through. So that's going to be absolute value of x, right? So now let's think about this. Let's just practice going through this. If I was going to find f of g of x, I would plug 3x plus 5 in replacement of my variable. So it would be 3x plus 5, which works, right? So therefore, we can say, yes, that is correct. f of x is absolute value of x. g of x is 3x plus 5. Do you have a question? And then what? So, sorry, there's multiple right answers. So you're saying g of x is what? It's going to be a little bit of a mistake there. Um, just because when you plug that in, you're going to multiply the 3 times the x, and then you'd have to multiply 3 times the 5. So that'd give you 15. But if you changed it to this, then yes, then your answer would work. There's multiple answers. Another one would be f of x, the absolute value of x plus 5, and g of x is 3x. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if you replace x with 3x, it'd be absolute value of x. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so another answer would be you're saying g of x is what again? Okay. Yep, f of x is equals x plus 5. Yep, very good. Mm -hmm. Multiple different answers for that. Absolutely. Okay. 